Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at ECR 2024, the annual meeting of the European Congress of Radiology. And we have with us right now Enes Hasgor. He is CEO and founder of AI services provider, Gesund AI. Uh, Enes, thanks for being with us today. Great to see you again, Brian. Yeah, so we talked at RSNA, but if you could give us a little bit of a update on, on Gesund and what, it, what exactly does you guys do? Absolutely, uh, we are a technology platform designed for AI assurance in healthcare. In other words, you know, we'll help become AI stakeholders, become and stay compliant. And our bread and butter has been running pivotal studies on behalf of AI developers in healthcare and with their FDA clearance. So, so this whole issue of, of AI quality and, and you know, what's going on in that black box uh, is, is, is a huge issue in healthcare. Um, what's, what's the challenge there that you, that you guys are addressing at Gassoon? Sure, so uh, what has been holding back the entire AI community is you know, a lack of evidence, lack of validation, lack of trust, lack of reimbursement, all, all these you know, points that pertain to ongoing you know, evidence generation. And so with, with that, we'll be step in and help them help our customers conduct validation studies at scale to you know, initially for the FDA clearance, but then given the you know, whole array of new, new regulatory frameworks coming from the FDA, you know, ONC and AHRQ, SHA, and happy to double click on what those mean, because the AI industry is facing new challenges to, to become and, and stay, stay compliant. So your, your customers are AI developers, you guys aren't out there developing your own algorithm. Correct, we don't build AI, we help AI developers with our platform. Yeah. No, now this week at, uh, during ECR week, you guys announced some news, can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, so. Uh, I'd like to you know, expand on what, what we heard from uh, the FDA Commissioner Robert Califf. You know, a few weeks ago at CES, he did mention that, you know, that uh, the AI tsunami is hard to handle by just uh, the FDA itself. And so it, the FDA has to rely on a network of third-party entities, AI assurance labs, which will help the FDA evaluate, monitor, and certify AI on an ongoing basis. And we're stepping up to the plate for this because we're the first technology platform that saw the challenge come in years ago. And so therefore, you know, we are building our network of partners with health systems, you know, uh, Valid AI, you know, that's, that's a new coalition for of some 60 or so health systems in the U.S. We are partnering with them to help build the backbone for the AI assurance infrastructure across the U.S. Same goes for other partnerships like that, that we, uh, you know, touched on during our press release like NIST, uh, which is, you know, building new frameworks in AI safety and assurance uh, under the Department of Commerce, as well as our, some of our partnerships with Cancer X under the White House's you know, Cancer Moonshot activity. So uh, given you know, the, the nature of medical AI, this is a public-private partnership. We have to collectively work with everybody, not just AI developers, but health systems, government bodies, as well as academics and clinicians. And so we are privileged to straddle all these worlds. Great. So uh, the theme here at ECR is next generation radiology and, and, and AI is, is really everywhere you look and, and not just sort of how do those point solutions work but stuff like how do we assure quality, how do we assure safety. Does that feel like you guys are kind of on the right track? Absolutely. I mean, when you look at some of the latest announcements from uh, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services ONC group uh, which announced in December uh, under the HDI1 rule. Hospitals who use AI will have to use technology to evaluate, monitor uh, AI solutions and, and to ensure that all AI are safe, effective, and equitable. Uh, so it's, it's not going to be a nice to have anymore, but uh, AI developers and AI users will have to adopt a, a AI lifecycle management approach for transparency, equity, and accountability. And that's where we're stepping in. We're building the technology solutions for the broader ecosystem. All right, sounds great. Enes Hasgor of Gassund AI, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Brian. Signing off from ECR 2024 in Vienna, my name is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire.